Hey, I'm going to show you something about recalibrating your whammy pedal. So, whenever I first got this, it worked great whenever I tested it out at Guitar and Banjo store, and it was awesome. Then I took it home, plugged it in, and then I tried out the two octaves up, and whenever I turned it on, it sounded something like this. And I thought, that is terrible. So, uh, what I decided to do was nub down the cushions. Don't do this. Don't, don't do it all the way. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't do it all the way either. I didn't. There's still some uh, cushion uh, in between the pedal and the bass. So, it's still okay for me. It's still okay. But you don't have to nub down the cushions. Yeah, they can yeah, leave them this length. It, it's good. So here's the thing. If your whammy pedal is doing that, then you have to recalibrate it. Here's how you recalibrate it. First, you unplug it. And if you want some wiggle room, for your whammy pedal to have until it starts taking the whammy effect. You can pull it up forward just a little and here's the recalibration. You hold down the stop button then plug it in and then the light blinking means it's in calibration mode then twice forward back but not all the way forward and back and it's ready to go watch this there's that little wiggle room now you can even do it even more you can be crazy and let the calibration start here let's do it You'll have a whole lot of wiggle room. Now what I prefer is to have just a little bit so that it'll stay in tune, yet have a good range. Thank you and I hope this helps.